Hi there and welcome back. So it's Monday and it's Make It Monday. So this month we've been doing envelopes and I'm back with another envelope one. And I've got Abby with me today. Do you want to say hello? Hi. Uh, she's been here this weekend because we're filming this and it's uh, the May bank holiday. So I'm a few weeks in front with filming so i know you've not got a great view with the being uh both of us will try as best to to keep in in this space so me and abby have both got different envelopes do you want to show your envelope that's your paper sweetie <laughs> that's your envelope so mine opens like this and just show how yours opens that's it so but they're very similar uh size I think um, Abby's is a little bit narrower. Um, so what I'm saying is all you need is um, a long, thinish um, envelope. And I've tea-stained both of these. So what I'm going to do is just put some glue where it's come off and it's pokey. <laughs> Poking out. I think just your flap or one. Um, gluing down Abby and I'm going to put glue around here to close close it up first Colin is in here with his toy right behind us and um, yeah my, my craft room is so small you couldn't actually swing a cat and um, yeah, me and Abby are <laughs> squeezed in here and Colin's behind us as well. So um, I feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> I don't know about you, Abby. Uh, I'm feeling very um, claustro claustrophobic. So I picked Abby up on Saturday, didn't I? Yeah. And we went into Nottingham mm -hmm. and we caught the tram. Um into Nottingham and we went to get your early birthday presents didn't we yeah yes Abby um like Emmy is going um on holiday with my auntie in a couple of weeks so um we've got some new clothes for a holiday and they're going to Wales the same uh place I'm going to um not the same um you know village or whatever but um the same the same place so do you want to put glue on here and glue yours down just check before that none of this is so you could probably just do with running a bit of glue down here look can you see yeah. and what's the bottom like that should be fine so you glue that up why i do the next uh stage so i'm going to bring this together and just pinch it like so and i've got my scissors i'm going to just cut diagonal now there's no science to this um you don't have you know it doesn't matter how small that is or how big that is but that does make your kind of pocket so if you do a much wider one you're not going to have a very big uh, back and then I'm going to cut this top off like so so that is now open and I can see if there's anything I need to glue and I don't I don't think so so I'll do the next one while Abby's doing her gluing so I'll try and do this one a little bit um, of a narrower triangle and that will make the back part bigger which will make more sense when, when we do it. Okay and that opens up like so. So while you glue yours up, I'm just gonna give mine a bit of a a bit of an ink ink around. 
So we got you some some shorts and t-shirts, didn't we? We're hoping that um, they have nice weather and can go on the beach. And my auntie will be taking her um, three three dogs, so she's definitely hoping on nice weather so they can be out and about. But um, I'll give you some games, haven't to take take with you. Yeah. And you must take a book with you. I already know what book I'm taking. What What are you taking? Dog Diaries, Frenemies Forever. I think we've got all those, you know. All the Dog Diaries? We might have. I, when we've finished, ask Eleanor. They might be under her bed. Because I did save a lot of her books ready for when... Um, you'd want them so um and i'm sure i bought her all those there were some diaries anyway um and you you want to really take a notebook and and a pen and some a coloring book and some felt tips so they're inked inked around and they're both open okay let's give that a good press down have you have you got my pin or have I got it? Okay, there, put the pin in the top of the, the glue. So let me show you um, how to do this next part. Is this like a lid? It, it keeps, because the pin's in here, it keeps the glue from Coming all sticking, out. no, all sticking together so it blocks the hole up okay. so that keeps it on blood so if you get one of your envelopes and fold them together like so but don't don't actually fold it just hold them like that so make sure it's in the middle yeah lift it into into the air and then you want to cut a triangle so if i do this one look while you're watching and then you do the the other one okay so it's like that yeah so you do do the next one so get it um you don't, don't want yours inked i'll just ink these while you're doing that you cut it that's it yeah you can round it a bit it doesn't have to be sharp okay so that's that I can put the scissors down oh and then you need to cut across this top so the smallest bit you want to cut across the top so if you just get your scissors in just under the crease look can you see where it's creased together and just follow it across like that all the way and then that will open that up oh, <laughs> so do that from the, the top one which is the, the shortest one yeah, so just get it at the top and follow it, follow it along. That's it. Um, I forgot what I was saying. So we did that. We we went for some lunch. We went to Ed's Diner, didn't we? Yeah. And um, it's like an American diner. Um, you know, it's got the jukebox and and that. Um, they they do do some nice gluten free things in there so we went there I don't think we went oh we went to a little craft shop so is that open yeah, yeah. right so we don't want the scissors anymore so pop those up there so the next part is we see where we want the rough bit at the back yeah so that's this rough bit and if I get a ruler, 
so if you put your ruler at the end of the top here yeah and try and have it straight i don't know if yours is or not i've got all on doing mine and then bend it over and give it a press press down yeah Yeah, and then remove your ruler and then press it with your with your fingers. Okay, and we'll do the other side. Oh, that's gonna be long enough. Oh it's not. <laughs> ignore everything I just said. Ignore no, Abby, ignore what Nonna just said. So this one we want to fold it over so this bottom reaches here. Okay, so it tucks in. Can you see how it tucks in? Mine's a bit too long for that. Hold on. It's so, just going to be like... Ooh. So, that's that one. It's a bit wonky, mine. Is. Let me just straighten, straighten this up. What's he got? Nothing. They're just making a fuss about nothing. Okay, so they now join and that can tuck in to there or that can tuck into there like so. So I don't think folding now is a good idea. <laughs> I thought it would, but it, it, it isn't. So if we go like this log and we can see that that now overlaps there yeah mm -hmm. so and then if we press it press it down like that and then that one do goes, we do it yeah do it to that one then that goes into into there like so okay so that's that and this one so i'm gonna go like that make sure that gonna go in go like this I'm making this up as I go along I don't know if I've ever seen it before or or what um, I can't recall it I was just sitting messing <coughs> messing about and I thought oh right we'll do that okay so that's those two as yours getting on good good yeah Will it go in? Will this go in? Just probably once coming over just a little bit. Just a little bit more. Okay, so what we've got at the minute is kind of a tuck there. A tuck there. If that had a bottom, that would be a pocket. And in there, that is a pocket, okay? And what I thought is, if we cover the, the two fronts, this bit and that bit, and leave the inside plain, so you can open it up and you can write inside it. So we want to open it up and put some glue down this crease. So down here and down here. So that will make our middle pocket. And then we just rub like that, look. That's it. So that's sealed. Okay. And we're doing the rough part that that comes onto the front so because we're covering that. And that's the nice uh, inside. Oh, I think tip's going to come off. Is it? Just do it down before it dries because um, it, it dries very quickly. Yeah. Right. Fold it up. Yeah. 
they just rub up and up and down and that's done that so we'll do this next one so I'll open is this one I'm weird it's a bit weird uh, they didn't glue one side or it's come come apart let's do that one yeah must have been so okay down there like that and like that and then like that okay so now we have got three sections one two three okay so let's cover these two so i'm going to put them that away to cover them Let's move some stuff so we want them the right the right way do, do we know where the pin's gone again there it is <laughs> right does your paper fit across there no so what we will do is if you pop that there and get the pencil is the pencil down can you write with that yeah. yeah, so follow this line. Come on. Come round to where the fold is. Stop. Stop. So we, have you got to there? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just move your fingers a little bit. So we want it to come to, well, we could have it come to there because it could fold, fold over. And then if we get this ruler and pop that down there. So do a straight line down that. Yeah. And then we'll cut that one out. That. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to um, just do a little bit of, of collage just to cover cover mine. So I'm going to go over um, the crease a little bit just to make it, make it less fiddly. I'm just using Kalal. So I'm going to place that on and then I shall cut, cut around it. So you can cover yours, obviously, any way you want. So that's that. And then we'll just get... So I'm using the Memories of the Meadow. And Abby's using colours that will go with her future um, Harry Potter, won't you? Yeah. Because uh, we're going to be making her and a friend a Harry Potter um, journal. Because... You had all those nice things from tapeology, didn't you? Yeah. So I said if we start making some some pockets and then she'll have some things to put in. Okay, are you getting on? So that's that Done. side. Okay. Is it for this one? Yeah, so that will fit there. Okay, so if you, you might be best to use the, the glue stick. Let me, I'm just going to pause while I get something to glue on. Okay, I've got something to, to glue on. So that's your, your piece to, to glue and I'm just going to use the, the glue stick. So, here like so yeah so these are the scraps that I've got left um, from building that um, 
doing the new project packed kits. So I've been making um, a file folder with with all the leftovers from from the six project packs. If you don't know what I'm on about, <laughs> then there is a playlist called Memories of of the Meadows. And they're all on there. That's it. So, do you want to cut your next piece out? Right, let me get these scissors. So, that's both of those. And I'm just going to cut, cut around. And this one. So, I'll just cross the bottom, making sure that I don't don't nip the bottom of the of the envelope. That's that. So then I will refold fold that and with that and with some more glue on like that. Okay, okay, so I'll just get the art glitter and just get that bit down. I get an on Abby. Good. Right. Done that. Done that one. You might want to just go around with, with this one and just, just you know, go around the, the edges because sometimes the um, finger glue doesn't doesn't get everything. The glue stick? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. So that's that. I'm going to ink around here like so and here. So I'm going to pause the camera and do the same to my other uh, one and then I'll show you what I'm going to do, do next. So I'll see you in a tick. Okay, so I've done those. I'd made um, another one up, so I've got three. I've just used the same two papers as not to rip um, any more, more up. So I'm just going to put some light um, stenciling just on the back. So like I say, I do want this to be used as... It's only coming through now. Um, used for, for writing. I think I'm using the, the wrong brush, but not to matter. Okay, so we've got a bit of something in, in the background. So let me do all of those. So I'm going to let Abby um, do hers after just so I've got some room to, to move my elbows. I was kind of stuck in a corner. Um, so she's going to um, do hers, I think, with postage um, things because it's going to be the Harry, Harry Potter and she's used the colours um, of the, you know, some of the houses in Harry Potter. I think it's mustard, uh, green, blue and like a burgundy colour. So they've all got something in them. All I've done is got um, a card from the kit, one of the meadow kits. I'm not sure which, which it's off. So they can go in the bag. I will probably decorate those, um, you know, when I come to use them in uh, a project. But for now, we'll just pop those in there, like so. If I can get this in, that's it. So we've got a pocket there. So to make this part into a pocket, you could put a pocket there. Um, and then have that but I thought you know we get lots of strips so I've got ticket strips 
which you can just tuck a tag in. Got some other kind of tickets. Got some of the washi um, strips, uh, rulers, and uh, postage stamps. So I think I'm going to use those three. Let me just put a bit of that pink on on the end. So I will just glue this down the side and at the bottom. And that will fit there. Okay. And then I've got these smaller um, cards. So that can pop their lot like so so you can take that out right at the back and put that in and obviously you can write at the back of the cards there's these um which i don't know what i'm putting in i should probably put some tickets and things um what are left left over so that's that and like i say i'll probably um decorate that so i think this one will fit Bit nice, so let's just rip that down and I'll put the um, what's it called? Victorian velvet because I did I inked the rest of it in vintage photo. So just put some down there. Like I say, you could use a, a little kit pocket in there, or you could just make make a little pocket. Or you could do it as a tuck. But I thought this way, it kind of, if you've done some writing, it, it covers um, that over. So that's, that's that. So when I stick it to a page, um, I'll stick it, stick the back down and then you'll just open, open that up like so. I think it could do with some... Um, you know, like pulling, pulling apart and thinking in the inside. I can say once you start folding things, you obviously get that flap um, hanging. That's better. So that's that one. So yeah, like I say, I don't, I don't know if I've done these before, if I've seen these before. Um, let's, oh, let's pop that there, and I'll use use that up. But um, yeah, I was just thinking, oh, what other pockets can, can I make in this um, series? Because I think I'll probably go on to um, non-pockets <laughs> in, in a week or so. Um, so yeah, I was just racking my brains. Obviously, you can use um, used envelopes. And if you use use that used envelopes and you want this as your writing spot just put some uh tea stained paper um over it if you need to cover cover something something up and that one goes there so i think they're quite nice i like them they look look different don't they you can say i'm going to put some florals and and things on but um well, shall we just, let's decorate one up. Let's decorate this one up. Um, let's have a look what we've got. So, let me just move those papers there. Now, I have got some of these. Oh, that would be nice, look. So, if I just pop that off... There and there and that. Didn't want to do that. Okay. So that could go down that side. So let's do the let's do the glue. Try and cover it best best I can. Right, 
doesn't stick stick up okay so that's that one then maybe um a butterfly Ooh, could have the owl there kind of kind of like him just sitting sitting there let's get that one with the vintage photo and i wonder if we can get get a label to to fit or i've got journey yeah that's nice so i think i'm gonna put that about there so I just put a double glue there so I know that that's that top um left ooh, left corner so I can get the get the height okay. Ooh, I've got an itchy nose. Oh excuse me. Right. Okay, so that's that one. Might as well decorate them all. No, I mean that didn't take didn't take two minutes. Um what else have we got? Now I did make some um ones what I splash, but I think they'll um sink too too much in it, but they was the ones that I did with ink. I did do do a video. So I'm look at some of these. These are gonna be too big. Big. Come on, I must have a small floral in here. I think that's a bit too bright, but that's still too wide. That's a shame. Look, fit on. I mean, I can fold it, I could fold it over. Look. Let's just keep that one there and that butterfly. Let's take that leaf off. So I'm gonna tear it to to fit what I what I want. What's that? don't take a lot of decorating do they these put some lace down the um, sides if you wanted I don't know if that would make it difficult to to get anything um, in these little pockets I don't know let's give this a I think I'm gonna have to get the, get the ink pad Okay, there, it's about, where's we've got? Thoughts, wishes, field guide, botanicals, my dreams, it's too big, dreaming of, oh, could have hit the bottom, couldn't we? Yeah, let's do that. And then I think if there's some flowers in in the background, that would look look nice. A bit like the layering up that I did in the um, Bluebell Woods. That's it. So that's that one. Okay. I think I'll probably put some lace out there at the top of that pocket or the top of um, those tags. I do think it just need need a bit of lace so i'm gonna tear that down pop that there let's give it a little bit of a, a bit of an inky these are all uh, printed on a cream uh, colored paper 
not card, not card, it's, it's like 200 GSM, so it's in between. And I like doing it on cream because then I've not got to cut every single bit out because um, I'm, I'm not keen on, you know, the brightness of, of the white. So I like the look of that. Now I have got this little um, fabric one from uh, Tapeology. Let's, um, let's pop that down. And I do have a coupon code for Tapeology and it is in uh, the description box and there's a 15% uh, code on that for it. Maybe have that there. Do that. Okay. And then let me just oh I might have to stand stand up. I'm just gonna put some um pearls on on there. Okay, I've got my little uh pearls out. There's the tinier ones. There they are. Sometimes I think they look like antennas if you leave them. Um, leave them. Yeah, leave them. <laughs> right, I'm just going to put some some glue there. Pop that there. Oh, lovely. Yeah, and I know they do look quite pale until um, we've put something something in the background, but I think they're going to be, be very nice. I'm going to put two on here. Right side. And then that's, that's that one. So that is, is those. Um, so I shall leave it, leave it at that. Um, Abby's now watching a film, so uh, she'll finish it off, um, off offline. But um, let me just show you. So there's uh, two. So we've got a green one and a mustard one, and um, I've got the stencil that what she wants to use. So she's just going to stencil that uh, there. We've obviously not got any cards or or anything for them, so they'll go go away until we've um, got a hers and a friend's journal done. So thank you very much for joining me this week and um, I will see you next week. Um, maybe that might be the last pocket one and we'll start doing um, some some other things with, with envelopes. I know I haven't used uh, junk mail ones. Um, I don't know if I've used them at all up to yet. So, um, yeah, I'll probably drag some some junk mail ones out but I've got loads of tea stained ones um and my box was getting a bit um you know spilling spilling over so I wanted to get some of some of those used up so that's it I shall see you in in the next video bye for now